I'm Jason with Decocrete Supply, and today I got Jeff Hershberger here. We're doing a liquid metals training. Jeff works at the Decocrete Orville store. He's going to be explaining a technique on our liquid metals epoxy um, using this. So. so what Jason's got here is um, just a chape and sprayer with a little bit of denatured alcohol in it. Um, you could always also use MEK. Uh, would work good for this. So just play around with um, either of those two chemicals and, and see which you like the best. There's a couple different techniques. Um, one would be a fine mist, and that would kind of give you some really small little, um, you know, hammered look fish eyes in there. It'll also help the epoxy spread. Um, or what we're going to be doing today is some really big, like, raindrop effect uh, to try to create some good fish eyes into the epoxy. And it's just going to look like uh, this is kind of a water theme so it's going to look like it's got some some water on it so Jason's going to go ahead and spray that just just big drops he's just going to let them fall and let it fall right in the epoxy and what this is going to do is um, you know we're going to hit this just at the right time here where uh, the epoxy is going to flow back together and uh, we're going to end up with it being really level but the pigments are going to kind of stay pushed out from the chemical and um, so it's going to be flat when we're done but it's going to look like it's hammered like, like it's a water look in there so you can see how he's getting some big drops and it's making some nice fish eyes into it. <clears throat> So you can just really create some, some cool textured looking effects, just uh, something you can add to your uh, epoxy jobs that is really not costing you much more money. It's just a little bit of denatured alcohol or MEK and it's just uh, it's all about timing, spraying at the right time and um, you know just keep experimenting with it and, and get your technique down and it's a really good trick. And I'll always practice on a piece of plastic or something get the, where you can actually see the droplets so you can tell how they're kind of spraying out. Make sure that when you're doing this that you have a lot of ventilation. This is a solvent, and if you're in somebody's basement or something like that and there's a pilot light on or something like that, you know, it could create a huge fireball. We've actually had it happen, so please, you know, if you're doing uh, this, make sure that every, all the pilot lights are off. And make sure you get some uh, fresh air. Make sure you have a sprayer that's uh, made for acetone. If you use a normal sprayer, it'll just eat the seals on this pretty quick. Um, you can also buy these, you know, if it's a bigger job, you can also get this in a bigger uh, container. And this is probably done about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the temperature. Um, like anything we do in decorative concrete, uh, it's all timing. Thanks a lot for joining us today, and thanks, Jeff, for uh, explaining this to us, and we'll uh, talk to you next time. Thanks. Hi, thanks for watching. My name is Jason Geyser, owner of Decocrete Supply, and I just want to take this second to, to invite you guys to the show. We're looking forward to this year's show. It's going to be great. It's going to be bigger and better than last year. We've got a lot of good stuff uh, going to happen, so um, we'd love to see all you. We'd love to meet you guys uh, coming out and, and check it out. Um, don't forget to register early. That's something very important. If you don't register early, there's going to be long lines. And if you do register early, you get a chance to, uh, to win a couple uh, door prizes, some really good prizes for that also.